What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Hope y'all are well. Hope y'all have an amazing week ahead. We're going to do a quick read, okay, early this morning. Baby girl's over on the bed, so you may hear her in the background. She's a little congested and snotty. Dang. Big mama. Hey, big mama. So let's dive in. Also, if you're interested in any personal readings, make sure you check the description box down below. Uh, it's one, two, and three question um, readings. And let's see. And thank you all for the ones that have already purchased those. I appreciate y'all so much. And all the love and support on the channel. Let's see. All right. What's, what's up? What's up, Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio this week? Next next seven days. What's going on with Scorpio for the week ahead? All right, we have third chakra arc archangel Shamul. Shamul. However you pronounce it, honey. Okay. Caring connection. Happy family, bottom of the deck. Okay. And daughter personal healing and happiness. Well. All righty. So we're gonna read this. Now, the third chakra is your solar plexus chakra. It's the one that it's like above the navel, okay? It has to do with your power, your confidence, your self-esteem, new vitality, um, the willpower to push forward. What is it? Oh, I know. I know it. You feel like her, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Emotions of desire, life force energy, okay? I know. Mm-hmm. I know it. The powerful Archangel Chamil is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light at the solar plexus, which is the location of your third chakra and the center of your life force energy. The issues here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. When the card appears upright, it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. Ooh, I like that. What is it, mama? You want me to come get you? Okay, hold on. Let me read this and I'll come get you, okay? Okay. I think she's pooping. <laughs> this is a great time to move forward toward the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance, and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. This angel of power is with you now, so go for it. So you you may have like this, this burst of energy this week, okay, to do something, start something, create something, go toward, bless you, mama, go toward something. My third chakra is open to its perfect, healthy state. I radiate a bright and vibrant life force energy. I feel excitement for all that I do. So you may feel like excited about, you know, just starting new, starting over. Can I ignore my hair in the background, honey. I just pulled this up in front. Um, going towards something. This could even be like a new love connection with this uh, caring connection. It's number 14. Or this could be because of some sort of connection okay maybe there was a change in a connection a breakup separation or this could be you going towards a new relationship okay um there is somebody that's in their head that's thinking about you what is it hold on y'all okay sorry about that y'all i'm back um you may be on somebody's mind thinking patience and anxiety there may be somebody that's stressed out um woman holding a coin it could have to do with your money or your finances here or what you're working towards you're on somebody's mind here okay um not sure really why but you know it's showing up a masculine energy is showing up that's in their head about you i know try to put some cartoons on for her. let's see what's going on with scorpio for this week next seven days balance okay i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment you're balancing out your life so this is good balance is being restored indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of life okay so you could be deciding to balance your life out because somebody couldn't make a decision about you yeah somebody could have made some sort of judgment on you which caused a change and now they're feeling guilty about it because we have judgment change and guilt I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement and guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. This is you also realizing, okay, it's time for a change in my life. I can't feel guilty about moving on from a situation or moving away from a situation because somebody was indecisive about me. So if somebody couldn't make their mind up about you, if they wanted to be in your life, 
work with you or collaborate with you or love you. You know, you can't feel guilty about leaving them behind. They had a choice. What's going on? What's going on for Scorpio this week, next seven days? What's going on with Scorpio next seven days? We have the Queen of Pentacles. You're focused on your money, your home, responsibilities. Nine of Pentacles. Dang. Okay. What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? And Eight of Cups. Well, I mean, Five of Cups. There's regret here. Um, there's despair. There's loss. There's guilt. There's abandonment. There could be some sort of heartbreak or unwelcome change that happened again. It could be like some sort of unwelcome change. But Scorpio, I see you doing pretty good and I just see you moving away from something or somebody walking away. Um, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, I see a lot of stability. Um, you may have a lot of responsibilities going on this week. Um, so, you know, you're very nurturing, loving, caring. You normally care about others and things like that. Um, you could be like a business person, whether you're male or female. Uh, you could be a business person as well as somebody that takes care of the household, but you're, you represent the energy of abundance. We also have the independent wealth. So you could be, you know, very self-sufficient, independent, wealthy, stable, uh, secure. Um, you could be working really hard at this. Okay. Your business could be thriving this week. And then the eight of cups, you're moving on, um, from feeling abandoned or like, um, something that has been limiting you in some sort of way or something that has been disappointing in your life. You're just walking away. You're releasing it and letting it go so that you can balance out your life. So it looks like money is going to be looking good for you this week. Okay. But let's see what this is. What is it? Let's see. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio this week. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio Communication, texting, phone calls, and online. I, some of y'all may work online, okay? Past life, knowing deja vu, past love. Um, some of y'all, you may have somebody want to communicate to you from your past. Or somebody from your past could be watching you online. Let's see. What's the Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio? New love, okay? New person, unknown person. You have new love coming towards you here, but I feel like... A lot of y'all have fell in love with like your business, your work. You, you're starting to meet new people with a friendship, friends, acquaintances, and networking. You're starting to meet new people. You know, uh, you have some sort of status. Um, you're very mature as well. So I do feel like you're meeting new people this week or you're going to meet a new person this week. What, what's the Eight of Cups? Ice Queen. Yeah, divorcee, mother, discernment. Again, you're walking away from things that Basically, you know better to indulge in. Like, I know not to indulge in this, or I know not to um, pour my time, energy, and attention into this here. Dating, winding, dining, and romance, especially when it comes to, like, dating and uh, being in a connection or in a romantic relationship. I feel like you're using discernment. Some of y'all could be, like, a single mother or a divorcee um, where you are leaving a relationship or leaving a connection, leaving behind past hurts as well. What's going on? Leaving behind past hurts and just moving forward. Um, some of y'all could have recently got divorced or you're getting, you're going through a divorce or a breakup or a separation. But I see you disconnecting. Some of y'all are going from married to single as well with that Queen of Pentacles to Nine of Pentacles. What's the Queen of Pentacles energy for Scorpio? Pets. And commitment. Things are getting serious. Yeah, some of y'all were very loyal to a situation or a person. And like you were the person that, bless you, you were the person that you could, that somebody could always call on, count on, like you were always there for them. They knew like being in a commitment with you that you would always be by their side, but, and that you were a very loyal person, but this person could have treated you like you were, a, you know, like you were a pet, like um, an option. Like I'll come show you love whenever I feel like showing you love, you know, um, some of y'all could be investing in a new pet or maybe you work with pets like a veterinarian or something like that what's the nine of pentacles for scorpio moving change of residence moving in with your partner yeah a lot of y'all you're moving forward you're moving away health health issues could arise um you could be getting in the singles energy where you're going towards new love and you may start dating somebody else y'all could potentially talk about moving in with each other relocating um 
or this could be you just you know it could be you moving away from a person and moving out on your own as well what's the eight of cups for scorpio what's the eight of cups for scorpio what's the eight of cups for scorpio move on yeah someone is unavailable a waste of time it's over see some of y'all are releasing some of y'all are going towards new love and you're releasing some sort of old dynamic again. Like, And this person, they could be watching you. Someone's got their eye on you. You're doing your research. So somebody is like spying on you, watching you as you walk away or as you move on. Like you're moving away, moving on, letting go, releasing. And somebody's like sitting here watching you. How you're, because uh, you're emotionally unavailable. It's like you just don't, you don't care anymore. You're not trying to fight for the situation. You're not trying. I don't feel like I don't feel like you're focused on it. You're focused on balancing out your life as a single individual. What's the Queen of Pentacles? What's the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio? Privileged lady. Yeah, you're very abundant, successful, stable, high honor, very well respected. Some of y'all can have like an online platform. Maybe you do what I do or you just do something where uh, there's proof in the pudding. You know, like somebody sees you as very stable, successful, financially secure in your life what's the nine of pentacles adjudication yeah somebody's making a judgment or somebody's getting a message that you are now being like you're now converting over to like singlehood or you're you are independent self-sufficient oh my gosh that that you are going to be like your business is going to be thriving like if somebody thought that you were married, like to money, like you were only privileged because you were married or because you were in a relationship, somebody is realizing like, no, nah, this person, they're actually privileged because they do the hard work. Like this person is very successful, very abundant. Like this person is balancing out their life, like with or without another person beside them. I don't know why that's important. What's the eight of cups for Scorpio? What's the eight of cups for Scorpio? What's that eight of cups for Scorpio, please? Here, eight of cups. Thief in reverse. Yeah, you're walking away because somebody was stealing from you or taking from you, main female at the bottom of the day. This could have been a feminine energy, house and imprisonment. It's like, what the hell? It's like they wanted, yeah, somebody wanted, I just heard, wanted your path. So house, imprisonment, and pathway. It's like somebody wanted your path or wanted your life or something like that and it's like you're finally walking away it's like if you walk away they can't take something from you anymore so you're walking away and you're releasing it it's like i don't i don't know why this main feminine this main female is here it's like clarify one more on the eight of cups with the ice queen you're just clarify the eight of cups and the freaking main female popped out again so the gift this is a blessing in disguise change official person marriage and coffin yeah some of y'all could have been married and the relationship could have ended because another another feminine got involved or another female was involved here so y'all could be going through some sort of legalities that's needing to balance out here as well but this is actually a blessing in disguise with this gift energy I see you just yeah because somebody is a false person here anyways false person courtship and the gift Somebody's a false person. Like they wanted to, I don't know if they want to appear like you or what. Clarify this. Let's get some tea on this real quick and then I'm going to end it off and do another reading. What's this? Okay. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Obsessive lover, dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness, karmic, and wolf in sheep's clothing. So you may have realized that there was some sort of toxic, obsessive lover that was like trying to stab you in your back or like betray you or yeah moving on thank you next or there's some sort of karmic energy here and you're moving on you're like yeah no thank you yeah somebody trying to be like you impersonator somebody trying to be like you or act like you wants to be you acts like dresses like looks like and copies you it's like somebody wants to be like you act like you copy you but you moved on from it you like yeah this is too much or like this shit is obsessive or karmic -y. like i don't want to deal with this some of y'all were in a marriage and it was uh, toxic. It was a karmic marriage or a karmic connection because this person was betraying you with the wolf in sheep's clothing. They weren't um, truthful and authentic. What's the, or 
you know, you could have been lying to yourself about a marriage or a connection or a commitment here. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Player. What's the Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio? What's the Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio? Confused. Yes, yeah, somebody, whoever this player energy was, they wanted to keep somebody confused or they wanted to keep you confused, but you called judgment on it and you went towards new love, too busy winning, and that's you winning. Okay, you made a winning decision by walking away. Yeah, dirt digging, looking for dirt on you, or vice versa, into you. Good chemistry, great vibes, and positive. And it's like somebody's trying to figure out, like, well, why, why is this person in good energy? Like, why are they still good even after? Why is it any of their business? But okay, <clears throat> somebody's like trying to dig into you or dig into your information and find out how are you still in this good energy, this high vibrational energy after somebody betrayed you but that's crazy to me why is that important but you're still winning okay wasting time stuck no changes limited somebody yeah somebody had you stuck for a while or wanted to keep you stuck but you moved on because you realized it was a waste of time sticking somewhere or sticking in a connection so you moved on to singlehood okay you let the player be in the confusion if this person again was indecisive about who they wanted to choose you re you removed yourself from the equation what's the eight of cups yeah, and stepped and took your power back. And now why are they too too busy winning? If okay, if somebody else interfered in your connection or your relationship, Scorpio, if there was like a third party or anything like that, and you moved on from this person this week, this week, somebody's gonna see why you moved on, like how why you're winning. Okay, with this queen rising, stepping into power praise coming up in spotlight. And dirt digging, looking for dirt on your vice versa. Somebody going to realize why you won by walking away from someone that's emotionally unavailable. Too busy winning keeps popping out. It's like somebody thought they stole something from you, but they're going to realize like they didn't steal nothing from you. You still positive. You still got great vibes going on. You're still in this good chemistry energy. It's like somebody wanted somebody to betray you and hurt you and yeah, they could have been bullying you, cyber bullying. You're being bullied online, or they are. Inside scoop, a closer look, nosy up in your business and legal issues. Now this person is going to have to deal with legal issues or legal problems or legal woes, or this could have caused this here because of what somebody did. And now somebody's having legal problems. Yeah, Sean, your light irritates their demons. This could be like a jealous feminine or a je jealous masculine energy. And it's like something about your light irritates them. Like they don't like that you shine. And it's because they're trying to be like you in person. It's like they really want to be like you, but they can't. They they can't. Waiting, moving, ain't shit. Yeah, it's like somebody realizing like waiting, moving, and ain't shit. Like whatever they were waiting on, they were thinking it was going to move forward. Like they were thinking like, you know, okay, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get that. And then they realize it. Something ain't what they thought it was. Family issues. There could be family issues going on. Somebody watching you from a fake account. Curious about why are they, why are they up in your business? Is what I don't understand. Why are they all up in your business? I don't understand that. Okay. What's the Queen of Pentacles real quick? Queen of Pentacles. Conversation. Yeah, there's something about a conversation. Service. Somebody work with somebody to betray you, to take your money, or like something to do with online. Something to do with online. Why uh, about your loyalty or about not being loyal to you or treating you like a pet or being, you know, a dog to you in some sort of way? What's the Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio? Waiting. Somebody left you waiting, so you decided, okay, yeah, letter. You decided, hey, look, it is what it is. I'm moving out. Some of y'all could have, like, ended a lease. Um, you could have filed for divorce. You know, you could have sent a text, like, I'm moving on. I'm good. You you go your way. I go mine. And now this person's confused. Or but you did that because they were confused. And so you're going towards new love. What's the Eight of Cups? Lord. Yeah, see, somebody and gift. Somebody felt like they were the gift of all gifts here. Like with this Lord energy, they felt like they could control everything. They felt like they were very um, entitled. Doctor, enemy, and thief. They felt like, oh, I could do whatever I want. I could take from whoever I want. I could steal from whoever I want. I can, 
use and 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 bully and all this other stuff right doctor enemy and thief i can i can do whatever i want to but with the legal issues coming justice is about to be served so balance is going to start being restored this week and whoever this person is and they ego like this oh woman malady they about to be feeling sick somebody gonna have to mature or grow up or somebody's gonna be sick that they weren't as mature about a situation widower and lover yeah because now when it comes to this lover situation, they're realizing like somebody really ain't shit. Or they're not what they thought that they were. The more that they look up information on you or something like that, the more they're realizing like, dang, like this person really ain't shit. I don't know. Something about legal issues or justice being served in a situation. All right. I'm going to leave it there. This is crazy. Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.